again, everybody. Uh, we're still talking with Rick Pinkney from Nova Scotia Arm Wrestling, uh, president of Nova Scotia Arm Wrestling Association, head referee for the CAWF. Um, and uh, I'm Scott McGinnis, and this is In Focus. So getting back to where we left off, so once the WAF, once the, WAF the World Arm Wrestling Federation, has sanctioned somebody for, uh, for testing positive for drugs, we found out that that arm wrestler could not compete in a WAF event or a WAF affiliates event. But I, as an individual promoter, can allow that arm wrestler to arm wrestle at my event so long as it's not a sanctioned event. Yeah, but then WAF's going to turn around and sanction him again. So they are going, to, WAF is going to sanction oh, sorry, him. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I misunderstood you okay. the first time. So how can they, so this is not a WAF sanctioned event or a, a CAWF sanctioned event. This is a private event. Um, that, oh, he can go to it. Okay. But then he's not coming back to WAF, basically. At all? Yeah. When, if you compete within your, during your suspension. Okay. I mean, you can go. Yeah. There's nothing stopping you from going to another event, but WAF's going to turn around. And so what the next the next suspension is a lifetime ban is it or is it they'll add a suspension on to your to your suspension depending on you know how long into it you are though a suspension on top of my suspension yeah. so if i'm 18 months into it so at the end of that my end of my 24 months i've got another 24 months or yeah. whatever it is yeah. they they impose upon me is that fair yes and no I know. Okay. Oh, okay. No. No. Just tell yeah. me. Just give me your opinion. It's uh, I, I, in a way, it is just to stop people from you know you you want to have some hammer on there you know to stop you from using drugs, but at the same time, I don't like the fact that you know if somebody goes somewhere else outside of you know you are actually suspend them from a competition that that has nothing to do with WAF. Okay. So for lack of a better word. Um, the WAF is amateur arm wrestling. Correct. That is correct. Correct. So if that competitor goes and competes in a pro circuit, then he's going to be pro. Then he's going to have to stay on the pro circuit. He's basically. going to have to stay on the pro circuit when you and I have both seen guys pull in the pro circuit, pull at the WAF. Yeah. So who decides once he's gone and, and competed at that pro event, he's still sanctioned? Yeah. So he can't come back and pull at the at the WAF World event again. Well, he can after his. It depends if he does it a couple of times. I know. Okay, so this, this is the only. So I'm just trying to make the distinction. Mm. So Scott McGinnis gets sanctioned by WAF for two years. I go compete in the NAL. Uh, Travis invites me uh, to to pull in the NAL, so I go and compete at the NAL. So at the end of my two year suspension, you, you can I still I can still come back? No, because if you compete while you're suspended from WAF, they're going to tag another two years on your suspension. For the so my two, my two years could end up being becoming four, four. So even though the NAL is a totally separate entity unto itself, I'm still going to get sanctioned for yeah. competing anywhere. But I think that's the way most sports work. Anyway. Okay, I'm just trying to find yeah. out what yeah. actually happens yeah. here and if we can get it as, you know what, we've heard different things, we've yeah. read different things on the internet. Um, I'm just trying to get as close to the truth, and you're on the anti-doping committee, yeah. so I figured, you know what, we might as well try and yeah, might as well yeah, let try people and clarify. Know yeah, well, yeah, we might as well let people know exactly, you know, how it how it works for this, that you know the way the rules do stand. You know, I think they're a little bit harsh, but I'm only one member on the committee. You know, I tried to fight it, but I lost. It's a, you know, it's a, I'm assuming it's a democratic yeah, thing. Yeah, there is. You, you know, get the vote. Exactly. So, how many people on your committee? I don't. I don't care about names or anything. But oh, I think there's uh, six of us. So you're one guy, one I'm vote. One guy. Yeah. Well, okay. Um, one dissenting vote. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me everybody else voted in favor of whatever sanctions that were brought in by the WAF. Yeah. Anti-doping committee. Yeah. Except for you. Basically, yeah. On on this one issue, yeah. I don't. I don't mean to to say that you would disagree with everybody on everything on this one issue. Okay. <laughs> well, that's between you and the anti-doping committee. So hopefully we've cleared up a little bit what uh, about the sanctions and what's going to happen if you test positive. Yeah. So a little bit. So I know I did mention reading things on the internet. Um, I personally think the internet has been a huge boom to arm, to arm wrestling. Oh, you know something? I don't think any other sport has taken advantage of the internet the way arm wrestling has. I mean, you think, 
you've got arm sport videos, you've got arm TV, you've got world of arm wrestling out there. There's hundreds of hours of arm wrestling out there for people to find and see. And I mean, not just, you know, two, I mean, you got also got the, you know, Joe Blow on YouTube, you know, arm wrestling his brother on the kitchen floor. But I mean, you know, with a little bit of looking, you find all the best arm wrestlers in the world out there. I mean, it's huge, not to mention all the message boards that are going on. The Nova Scotia, we've got a message board. The Canadians got a message board. The Americans use uh, either the AAA message board or the Northeast message board. Plus, there's all across Europe. But oh yeah, arm wrestling has just made huge advances. I mean, we've just taken the, the internet by storm. Yeah, and everybody has their own website. Yeah. I mean. Uh, oh yeah. I mean, you know, Nova Scotia. I mean, you know, for a, a dinky little province on the eastern part of Canada. I mean, you Google arm wrestling. You know, we're one of the top sites in the world. At one time, um, I think Rick Pinkney and myself uh, built Nova Scotia Arm Wrestling com into the number two uh, website on Google. Yeah. So, and you know what? And I'm not sure why. I, I guess whatever we were doing, we did, people yeah. liked. Yeah. You know, yeah. we didn't start off to do anything except for to put as much information uh, as we possibly could. I mean, I was out taking pictures and putting everybody's pictures up. Um, you put rules are online, uh, referees tests and seminars and, and all the forms that everybody needs. Everything is right there online. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, there's a world of information. I mean, there's just so much information out there for arm wrestling. You know, just about anything you want, you'll find it. And like I said, I don't think too many other sports have got everything on there the way we do. No, I, I, arm wrestling really has stepped up, um, like the different uh, video sites and uh, just people out there um, with their video cameras putting stuff on YouTube. Yeah. Or and their own personal. There's a lot of people out there, too, like Joyce King and, and many, many others have got their own websites personal websites so they've got you know video footage on them so I mean it's just you know there's so much video footage out there of arm wrestling so if people want to learn about arm wrestling you can watch the best arm wrestlers in the world with the click of a mouse yeah it's uh, it's actually pretty amazing I, I don't know if we really grasp the scope of, of how big the internet is I yeah. mean you know while you're at a tournament and you go home that night and there's already stuff up on the internet yeah. and everybody in the world Gets to see it right then. Gets, there. Yeah, gets yeah. to see it. It's Where before, you know, you had to wait and wait to find out, you know, and hopefully you found out how how uh, tournaments turned out or something like that. Now, guys that are moving up through the ranks, their name gets known a lot faster. Where before, if Scott McGinnis was an up and coming arm wrestler, until he knocked off somebody really big, you never really heard of him. Yeah, yeah. And now, you know, you knock off somebody if you beat Ron Bath at a tournament down in Virginia or something. Sorry, Bam. Ron, but... <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're going to go big. <laughs> if I'm going to dream, I'm hey, going really big. big. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I mean, if you knock out, you know, you beat somebody like him, then, you know, geez, everybody in the world's going to know that right now. Not only are they going to know it, they're going to see it more yeah. than likely with the yeah. advent of... of uh, Camera so phones much, and video, you know. Yeah, there's so video much video phone. out there that exactly. somebody's going to capture it yeah. somewhere. And they were, who's, this, who's this Scott McGinnis guy just beat Ron Bath? And they're going to see exactly yep. who it is that just and how you did Bath. it. Yeah, uh, exactly. Now, on the other hand, too, so Ron Bath can go back home, watch that video, and say, oh, "I'm not going to make that mistake again." Yeah, exactly. Assuming I beat it because of a mistake. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's true too. I mean, it's a huge training tool. Where I mean, I mean, we had that catalog of, of tapes, and it's too bad we we lost many more. But uh, you know, we had that basically just sat in my basement, you know, and a few people got to see them only because. I'd lost so many, I didn't want to lend them out. If people, you know, people wanted a copy of them, it'd be one thing. But I mean, I'd lost so many tapes over the years, I didn't want to lose any more. So, I mean, really, nobody really got a chance to really see those videotapes until Armsford videos came along. Now we've got all those videos. Well, we haven't got them all up there yet. No, not yet. We've still got, you know, how many more hours left to, to go up there? We, yeah, we, I've still got a pretty good catalog. And the fact that uh, I went to the Ontario Provincials, I came home with 25 tapes. Yeah. Uh, thanks to Bill Lockheed and Joey Costello for giving yeah. me some more tapes. Uh, and uh, there's a lot more people out there in the same boat have got all these videotapes sitting in their basement. Now there's a chance, you know, the whole world can see all these tapes from way back when when I started and, and, and everything else. 
Yeah, it's, you know, uh, you know, you get the chance to see a lot of the old time arm wrestlers you've only heard about. Well, you that's know, the right. The Deans and the Johnny Walkers and stuff like that. I mean, people have heard about these legends, but you know, the chance of them ever seeing them now is going to be a chance to be Especially able to see Especially for these the guys. younger guys coming up, it's okay for us <clears throat> over forty crowd yeah. uh, that may remember watching Y World of Sports or or run into some of these legends uh, at one time or another. Um, but the the twenty year old, twenty to thirty year olds who didn't yeah. get a chance to see them no, exactly. now they can. Uh, because of the internet and uh, you know whatever people are sharing their tapes and and it gets on the internet. I don't think more and more people will want to have their tapes up on the internet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I mean they're only going to last so long sitting in your basement, especially the VHS tapes. They're only going to last so long, and then once they're gone, they're gone. No, that's right. So I know what what uh, I'm assuming other guys have done the same thing. What I've started doing with the tapes that that are given to me to uh, put up on the internet. I convert them back to DVD, well, yeah. send the guys back through VHS and a copy of the DVD, just as a little thank you for, for allowing me to use the footage. Plus, they've got it forever, so I mean, uh, you know, yeah. you know, if they don't think it's arm sport video is going to be a wrapper, they've still got, you know, not just, like I said, the VHS tape, but they've got a DVD they've copy. Got the DVD. That, you know, then they can make more copies, yes. so they don't have to worry about, you know.